The BenQ HT3550 4K is a budget-friendly true 4K home theater projector with HDR10 and HLG support, a 95% DCI P3 color coverage, and other great features. The $1,500 projector delivers great value considering that most high-end 4K projectors run upwards of $5,000. But is it the best you can get for your money? And after you get it, what can you expect? The HT3350 gives you a 4K Ultra HD 3840 by 2160 image consisting of 8.3 million pixels and 1.7 billion colors that uses an updated Texas Instruments 0.47 inch DLP chip. I felt that the updated chip reduced the light border that plagued the BenQ2550, although the six segment RGB RGB might leave some rainbow artifacts, which is expected with DLP technology. You also get 2000 ANSI lumens and a contrast ratio of 3000 to 1, so your picture should be rich and vibrant even right out of the box. The throw ratio is also short, so you can project a 100 inch picture from just over 8 feet away or just below 11 feet. Just to be clear, technically the HT3550 is not actually a native 4K projector, and I wouldn't expect it to be at this price point since a real native 4K projector would generally cost over $5,000. To achieve the 4K high pixel count resolution at this price point, BenQ uses pixel shifting technology. Instead of projecting all 8 million pixels at once, this projector only does 4.15 million pixels at an instant, which represents just half the image. Then it switches over to represent the other half of the image. The switch happens so fast at a rate that is not detectable by the naked human eye, so you can only perceive the whole image, which appears to be at 4K resolution, and you would be hard pressed to tell otherwise. I was very impressed with both the grayscale and the color accuracy, which are both fantastic. It also provides 100% Rec. 709 coverage and 95% DCI P3 coverage, and it comes with a wide color gamut and brilliant color settings. The frame interpolation feature has three settings which help to smooth motion, and although I noticed some digital video effects at the highest level, it's still very functional. I found the projector works best when low on a table or mounted on the ceiling. It features a high mask in front of the lens, which is a very simplistic solution to its predecessor, the HG2550, which had the tendency to leak light. The rear panel comes with an analog and optical jacks and HDMI ports, but I would recommend using an HDMI 2B cable, which adds increased support for the high dynamic range standard to prevent synchronization issues. One feature to point out is the dynamic iris setting, which makes the contrast ratio possible. By letting the projector examine the image it's projecting and automatically improve contrast by changing the brightness. There are four settings, low, middle, high, and off. And there is a slightly predictable flicker that can sometimes be seen when you're using the high setting. Overall, I found the HG3550 is still good, especially with HDR. Even with this function disabled, I thought the images still had good contrast and dynamic range in darker scenes, especially with the five stage HDR brightness enhanced. BenQ also gives you five picture modes, bright, cinema, vivid TV, dark cinema, and user mode, which offers good versatility. I thought that the cinema mode looked good with its default settings. In the bright mode, I noticed that there was a green bias and that the colors tended to be less dark, which can be useful if you have ambient light in the background. With some fiddling, I found the vivid TV mode can be a solid choice for non-HDR content. And while the dark cinema mode offers you a movie theater-like experience in low light rooms, I also found it to be a little too dark. Unlike many projectors, it supports 3D at 1080p and it automatically switches to HDR10 or HLG modes when it detects an HDR input. The HT3550 also features a vertical shift lens to help the vertical misplacement and match the image to your screen without needing to physically move the projector. However, like most projectors at this price point, it lacks a horizontal lens shift. Its 245 watt lamp has a relatively long lifespan of 4,000 hours in normal mode, 10,000 hours in economic mode, and 15,000 hours on smart eco mode, so you can be comfortable using it as your primary video entertainment source. It also cools quietly, and it comes with built-in 5 watt speakers, which I found suitable for small home theater setups or small outdoor gatherings. So is it worth buying? Well, that depends on what you're looking for. If you want a comparable projector with a sharper picture, then I would recommend the Optima UHD50 or the 51A. If you want a top-notch projector with better image rendering and you don't mind spending more, I'd recommend the Epson Home Cinema 5050UB. But if you're looking for a budget-friendly, high-performing 4K option, the BenQ HD3550 is perfect. It has better black levels, color accuracy, and tone mapping than the Optima options, and it performs comparably to the higher-end options at a fraction of the cost. But that's just my opinion. Let me know your guys' opinions in the comments. 
For links to updated pricing on all of the items mentioned, check out the description. If you guys learned something or you found this video helpful, give the video a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel and you like short, informative tech videos. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.